Good morning, everybody. Hello, fish heads. It's Monday. Today is the 8th of February, 2021, and I always promise you that we're going to get through this as fast as we can, but then notoriously, it'll go on for like 10, 11, 15 minutes. Not sure how long today's is going to go, but uh, I'm going to give it a give it my best college try. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. I actually took a couple days off. I was in the shop yesterday on Sunday. I didn't do any recording. I just worked. Um, Because the the fact of the matter is, folks, that getting caught up from a month's worth of packing and moving and setting up and moving studios and all that yada, 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 all that stuff has set me back a couple of weeks further than I wanted to be set back. So I have to make that time up anywhere I can because I also have a commitment now to Bullshad to paint for them as well. But this is um, this is all your orders. So this morning we're going to jump right into it. I've got a few orders lined up on the desk here. You guys have already seen the first six pieces of this trolling jerkbait order. These came from um, Brian over at Dinger on these uh, 100 deep divers. The rest of them are right here, and I'm going to put them up in the camera. They have come off the clear coat rack. I still have stuff that's on the clear coat rack. It um, This shop, I know I've said it a couple of times, but the shop is undergoing some heating ventilation issues slash repairs. So um, I do not leave my heaters on at night, which I know I should, but they're space heaters. And to be honest, I'm worried to death about... Um, a fire from a space heater and lord knows i do not want to come into bullshad as uh as a new entity in the in the team and uh set the place on fire so when i leave at night i've been turning my heaters off but it dipped down really really low last night so i'm going to give what's on my rack over here another good day with heaters on to dry before i send those out so if i told you it was coming today it's going to be coming tomorrow but this stuff is coming today this stuff got done yesterday. This is just a few more patterns of the Deep Diver for Tina up in the Great North. And I have not uh, not cleaned these up. These just came off of the rack last night. But uh, these are set to her specifications. Um, a lot of times you guys take pictures of what you want me to do or something similar. And I do my very best. This is probably one of her best patterns that just gets smashed and smashed and, and smashed. So those perch, the walleye, love a good perch pattern. And I'm gonna, if I've got duplicates of this stuff, so I'm probably just gonna run them through quick. This is that black back silver crappie, which is also getting smashed up there. The second one. This is, uh, this is beautiful for you guys um, that don't know, if you don't know, which most of you do by now, but I am a KBS user. Um, I'm also worried about it with the temperatures because it gets finicky when it gets cold, but so far so good. Um, this is a reverse Hulk, which we'll just, I think we're just going to, for the sake of not wanting to get uh, copyright infringement, don't know how long I'll be able to call it Hulk Smash out of the color properties, even though I was able to do stuff with Game of Thrones, but that was with their permission. That was H HBO said, yeah, go for it. So I did. But on this one, I think we're just going to start calling them Mardi Gras. Buca's like, that looks like a Mardi Gras color. So I said, yeah, okay, we can do that. But it, man, that 3D stuff. Woo! Lord have mercy, I love it. And then on a shorter bait. Man, I love doing that. I can't say enough how fun these patterns are. And they look so good. It's juicy. So I've got a bunch of these Duo Realis um, G87, the G-Fix. I have them in 15 foot depth and 20 foot depth. These are part of Bob's that's going out. He's asked for... Well, this is I've done this pattern for him before. He loves this pattern. And also the, uh, the Sassy Gill... Got a lot of sassy gills, and on these, bring this up into focus. I did uh, because on the on the duos, their eyes are really, really, really cranked in there and sealed down well. So I just painted over and did the uh, the orangish yellow bluegill eye on that. And he has duplicates of those as well. He asked for two of each. 
these are simple simple patterns but boy oh boy I mean when you're when you're deep trolling these things or cranking down to 20 feet brighter patterns certainly have a benefit and this is the other one of those that I did and then that this other one right here so there's eight all together oh yeah and these little owl wife slash shads that we've got going on he also asked for a sassy and this one and this bull shad and these are just great little great little swim baits to paint so I also have you guys seen these you saw his perch that he sent me it's also a bull shad but then he also sent this one it's uh, similar I want to say it's similar to the um, Boyd Duckett version of uh, of that bull shad but he asked for this one to be painted as well in a perch so we put that together for him this is a very big order of his then we've got some babies got a perch have um, sort of a pumpkin seed going to him a lemon belly that little red notch on the ear flap he also asked for the sassy gill and another one of those Connecticut style shad aloe wife without the dot he did not want the dot he specifically asked me to leave the uh, the shad dots off of them and I have Normally I'll throw them on when I do this sort of pattern, but he asked for them to be off. And then last but not least, and I know I saw this on one of my comments the other day somewhere. I don't know if it was on Facebook or YouTube on the channel. You guys asked me to paint one of these. This actually happens to be going out for a customer. So this is that Glide repainted. And almost a blue back herring, but uh, thread fin. It's a thread fin, for sure. And look at those eyes, folks. That is a classic, iconic John at Jetson. Love these eyes. These are Jetson eye lures, or lure eyes. It's Monday. That is what we've got. Very simplistic, very plain. Got a couple of colors blended together. And nice little bit of mica there on the cheeks so that is all the news that's fit to print today I've got more coming I've got spray sessions if you hit Facebook or you're watching this go to my community page on YouTube I did a poll want to see what kind of spray session you guys want me to knock out of the park this week I will be happy to get that on there and also be thinking of some questions you guys want to ask me I normally go through all my comments because there's tons of comments um, which I love doing, absolutely love doing it. But it is, uh, we're, we're overdue for a Q&A session for you guys. I've also been seeing comments about what gear do I use when I go fishing, uh, what paint, can you do an in-depth paint breakdown, can you do an in-depth uh, camera gear, what gear do you record with, the whole YouTube type deal, more than happy to put that together for you as well. Those with the camera gear, it's not super, super involved, so that might be like a three-minute Thursday this week, you'll see. But um, that's what's coming down the pipes. If you have suggestions, questions, comments, leave them for me in the section below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. It's always really good company. I appreciate it. I certainly do. If you haven't, think about subscribing to the channel. If you want to help me continue to teach you guys how to fish and paint uh, the best patterns and, and uh, get creative with your work, hit that Patreon because I can always put that back into the channel it buys supplies and paints and stuff like that so that I can continue to crank out fresh content for you guys. Love you very much. Mean it. Have a fantastic week and I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.